We good? We all here now? Hello! Hello, everybody! Welcome to BIPOC Vamp Day After Dark, now with clowns. I'm your ringleader for tonight. It's me, Katie Chin. (laughs) (laughs) And today, we're going to be playing a game called But Dracula. But first, let me tell you about what this stream is even here for. September blip, is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, and we are raising money for the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America. The SCDAA is the nation's headquarters for sickle cell disease support, advocacy, and the search for a cure. Sickle cell disease, or SCD, is a group of inherited blood cell disorders common among those whose ancestors come from sub-Saharan Africa, Spanish-speaking regions such as South South America, the Caribbean and Central America, Saudi Arabia, India, and the Mediterranean. Those with SCD experience chronic pain and other serious problems such as infection, acute chest syndrome, and stroke. You can help by donating to our fundraiser. Use exclamation point charity in chat to get the Tiltify link. And if I recall correctly, we're at less than $50 away from our goal of $666 and the nice 69 cents. Donate now. Now then, there are some other people here listening to me chatter away. So why don't we get started with pointing Dan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dan. I'm on the internet in the places at Darker Larper. Fun fact, uh, my mom would not let me run away to clowns to be a clown in the circus, so she sent me to clown school instead. I am, in fact, a classically trained fool. Mm, most wonderful. And next we have the most wonderful John. Hi, I'm John. <gasps> And I'm startled by my dance reactor reaction. I'm reading the chat like a little shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm John. Uh, I'm on, uh, I'm mostly a podcaster on, on like TRF podcast, uh, men on vibrant legends. And I'm here to, uh, pretty much live my best life as a clown. Such a wonderful life that this introduction has allowed our goal to be met at Utopia. It looks like we've hit $666 and the nice 69 cents. So, quick five second dance party. Done. It's time to get down to business. I'm going to be playing a game called But Dracula Ellipses. This is a game where a vampire is descended upon the town, draping it in endless night. The town mayor says we have but one hope. Only the great clown Pagliacci can save the day and chase the vampire away. The thing is, we are the great clown Pagliacci. Well, we're the closest the town's got. So to get things kicked off, we're going to be doing some character creation on stream which means everyone in here, all of the players, has to make a D6 roll to see what kind of clown you will be playing. I have rolled a three. Dan, you are a rodeo clown. Yeehaw. Your special ability is that you can use fear for your entertain roles instead of joy. What do you have, John? I rolled a four. Four? You have received therapy clown. Therapy clowns can put diamonds on any emotion when using entertain, which means for the sake of this, when you're giving NPCs like emotions, you can treat diamonds as any emotion. Diamonds are wild for you now. Nice. Speaking of suits and cards, a quick little explanation to the mechanics of this, since this is a game that I invented, so I don't know if the mechanics exist anywhere else, is that stats are the cards that you see on the stream. And let's see, each suit corresponds with an emotion. So 
Hearts are joy. Diamonds are sadness. Spades are... I don't remember this. My own game. Spades are fear and clubs are anger. And each of those emotions corresponds with a different action that we'll probably get into as we play the game. So we don't have to go all the way into that. So now that you have your clowns, we can go, you can roll the D6 one more time and you can have your special clown item. I have a two. A two. You have received a unicycle. I have Excellent. rolled a one. You have received long balloons. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Special uses, make balloon items, and fast travel. Use them as you see fit. So now that we have... That's all you need for character creation, folks. So <laughs> with that, why don't we hear... What clowns you've created? We've got appearance and names sorted out ahead of time. So this time, why don't we start with John? Hi, um, I am playing the great Marvedra. Marvedra is, uh, of course, this unicycle riding clown who is offers their uh, humor to bring to help people who are a little bit like uh, upset or dealing with things or you know this need to have a little joy brought into their lives i'm pretty much dressed more somewhat like oh uh, no i will say i'm dressed like a, a a court gesture except for a little more plainly i don't have a lot of different colors i have colors that don't that are soothing colors so no reds nothing that could incite anger because i'm very calming clown so calm pastels yes mm. and in complete, <laughs> complete contrast to that very calming experience we have ludwig who uh <laughs> used to be like a like a kids party clown you know making balloon animals uh getting punched by children who are upset at the speed of which you make said balloon animals and really decided that they wanted a little bit more adventure uh so kind of became a rodeo clown and uh, is dressed like basically little nas x in uh the rodeo video just bright colors bedazzled like yeah like hello i am a target i am bright and colorful most excellent and so you two are in the town and sit and you hear a. Uh, you two are going up to the castle you are stuffed into a carriage that is very tiny so very spacious for clowns and you head off Oh, look, you're there. Yay. <laughs> so you go through a spooky forest. You can see like the Halloween-y purple sky implying that it's night. The sh silhouetted dark branches of a spooky forest. But you don't have to worry because your carriage Uber got you through all of that. But now you've reached the castle. Dark and looming, the dying vines climbing up it. Used to belong to some sort of, you know, rich people, I guess, that used to live in the town, but the villagers ate them, so we don't have to worry about them anymore. <laughs> um, but now we do have to worry about the vampire, and it's surrounded by a giant moat. And beyond that, a giant wall, of which there are two guard towers standing, and a drawbridge not closed not closed closed it's closed i prefer the first one yet. <laughs> yeah no they definitely not closed it's a trap 
And in the guard tower above, you see a small helmet peeking over the top, kind of moving around. There are dogs freaking out underneath me because I'm here and there's a party kind of going on outside, so please ignore them. <laughs> I just assumed those were the villagers. <laughs> those are the villagers. They're very yippy at this hour. Um, so what do you do? Moat, guard tower, closed drawbridge. Well, first I roll out of the very tiny carriage on my unicycle to assess <laughs> the situation. Uh, uh, right on the tail, uh, like a tuck and roll right out of it, just to tumble and a ta-da right out. Just shiny belt, shiny boots, just hello. Oh, there's there's no one here. Uh, Oi! Oh. Uh, you down there! What are you doing in that get up at the castle? D did you see? D did you see the? Tada! Was was it was it? Slick? Hold on a moment, and you look above to see the helmet um kind of bend down, and then you hear some shuffling boxes or books or whatever, and then you see a little head poke up over the side and go, "What you do then?" Oh, well we. I'm sorry, you didn't get to experience it. Back, oh. back in the carriage, back in the carriage. <laughs> back it up in reverse, <laughs> back battle, inside. Yeah, backwards. <laughs> okay, bye. Throw and open the door and game. roll out again. Game over, we lose. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. We go back into the town, it's endless night forever. <laughs> we'll just rewind that back. We just the do the whole thing goes. again. <laughs> Carrie Shriver goes, uh, this is, no, you, this is your stop. You have to get no, out. Wait, no, wait for it. All right. I throw the doors open and roll out again. <laughs> <laughs> Same exact routine, like on the tee. <laughs> Would you like to roll and entertain, um, more of a deer? <laughs> Yes, I would. So you have to roll a d8 and try and get under your joy, which for you is three. Yes. Works better if I roll a d8, not a d6. Well, it works worse, actually, but whatever. <laughs> oh, I rolled a one. Ah, yeah. Okay, so you hear, <laughs> that was splendid. Did yeah. you come now here that... to entertain the sire? Yeah, we've come to entertain all, but including the sire. But now that you've seen us entertain you, how does that make you feel? Why don't we? Can I take out a pen and pad? Cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that we've done it, you have to, you get to draw three cards from the deck because you have three joy, and you get to choose two of those cards to add to the emotions of this character or cancel out the emotions of this character. Okay. Oh, should I draw it to my hand or to... Maybe draw it to the left so that we can see that... Uh, see it. I accidentally draw it, put it... Let me drag it out of my hand. I'm gonna have to yell and it, my and dogs. The cards go everywhere. I Me, mean, he's just like, do not. I, I request to see the baby. No, focus. <laughs> Actually, we can do this so that the middle is the section yeah. where y'all can have cards. So, oops. Nope. Uh, no, it was good. I know how roll 20 works. It's fine. Okay. So, I, I guess I'll give the heart in the. Diamond. Yeah. You can also cancel out. Oh yeah, because you diamonds can do anything. So you give. I'm guessing is two joy to this man. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was delightful. It was. Did you come here to entertain the sire? Yes. Yes, we have. Oh, I bet you really do a good job. I was just tickled pink. 
I can definitely hold this accent for a long time. So definitely come back whenever you want. So Well, if you um, could just uh, lower the, so we can. Oh, oh, of course, of course, no problem. And you hear a ka-chunk and the chain creaks down. <laughs> All right, then. Have a good day or night as it is right now, forever. <laughs> uh, silly walk my way across that drawbridge. I pedal across. Oh, it's a walk this way, bit. I'm too <laughs> pink, I am. <laughs> so, you walk across the bridge and enter a large open foyer. You can see that there used to be a very large fountain where water spurted from one side to the other in a crisscross pattern. Look, would have looked really cool if there was water, but there isn't any, it's all dried up. You can see grass or where there would have been grass, but that's all dried up too. It all looks rather decrepit in a way that means it used to be grand. But if you look off towards where the castle actually is, there's one really nice patch of green just to the side of a giant gate with a giant looking keyhole on it and a giant knocker ring underneath it. I have a feeling I think I know where we're supposed to go. Uh, and then climbs up the fountain to jump off the fountain towards the gate. Ah. Why not? Okay. <laughs> because why not? It's just clown. Did you around, want to roll you know? something or did you want to do that? No, <laughs> it's just it's just flame. Okay. I just I gotta clown around. That's the number yeah. one rule. Um you dive into the fountain and you disappear behind like the wall of the fountain, and we don't see where you go, even though there's no water, you somehow fall in with a splashing noise. And also fling your hair back like you're Ariel from The Little Mermaid. And somehow you're also all wet now. Yes. And then and then that like awkward, like when you climb out of a fountain, you're all like, and the, the shoes squeak. How do they mm -hmm. squeak? Do they squeak extra loud getting out of the fountain? You are doing really well today. I'll have big shoes to fill. I think perhaps we actually need to be over there and then a uh, normal walk, but every step is squeaky shoes to this this gate. Uh, knock, 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 knock. Ding knock. dong. <laughs> Dings. <laughs> <laughs> what? It ruined my knock pun. How dare! <laughs> Hello? Oh. Hello? Hello, are you trying to knock on the uh, ringing door? Yeah? If you want a knock noise, you have to press the doorbell. You see um, uh, um, a rather timid looking woman kind of scanning at the garden area trying to give you directions. If I like ring the door it makes it not yeah yes it does um and then uh so like goes for it and goes wait a second and like reaches into like a pocket that is way deeper than it should be and like pulls out a very long red balloon and like throws it and then quickly grabs a small green one. It's like, I got this. And like with a surprisingly amount of depthness, twist hand and there's a, there's a, is that a flower? Is that a stem? And presents it. 
for you. Oh, thank you so much. Um, the gardener takes it. Are you trying to do something? No, just seemed like a sad person who could use a little joy. Okay. Um, I'd say you could try um, either entertain or empathize, whichever one you want. Yeah, I'll, I'll try some... Uh, I'll take some... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll empathize. Uh, so... Roll a d8. I have to roll under get... five. Under five. I have rolled a five. I am not sure if that works or not. That does work. Okay. Meets it, beats it. So that means for this game, you get to give... You get to take up to X of someone's emotions card, where X is half of your fear, which is three. So you can and add it to your emotions. Round up, so. You round up it to two? So the, it's, it would of... round up to three because you have five, so half of it. Oh, I'm of, bad at math. Half of five I thought is I had... two point five. Round it up is three. <laughs> Be doing I, math. I did math of the three. I thought the three was the thing that needed math. I... <laughs> I was like, half of three is one and a half, which is two, right? Yeah, but no, this is the wrong starting exit numbers. Okay, so this gardener has two cards, and they are a sadness and a happiness card. Yay. Um, I mean, I'll take the, I will take the, what is it? Is it the, yeah, is the, the, I will take the, the happiness card, the joy. Okay. So if you take the joy card, the gardener will be only sad. No, no I can't do it. <laughs> Give me that sad card. Okay, so you get no this sad sadness. card, except you have to virtually find one in the deck. <laughs> Actually, wait, what do we got here? Here, take this, take this one. Take this, take this, Jack. Okay, I can't, I can't leave the gardener. I can't leave the gardener sad. I can't do it. It's do unethical for my clown ethics. Did I do it? Oh no. Ah, I'm doing it. It's fine. I know how roll 20 works. <laughs> I have no idea how roll 20 works. I've accepted that. <laughs> okay. It's magic. So you offer the balloon flower. She goes, Something so bright, so wonderful. And you even you even put some perfume on this. Nothing grows in the endless night. I'm so glad something green can be in my life. Something that won't go away as fast. You really brighten my day. Is there anything I can do to help? Point. Uh, there's a giant keyhole there. Do you happen oh. to have the key? Of course. Um, here, over here. And she slowly walks over to where you see like a rake and a shovel and some other um, gold thing buried in the ground that looks like a tool, but it's got like um, the back of the key shape on it. And she pulls it out of the ground and it's a giant key. And it's like, I didn't think anyone would need to go inside and I usually stay by the flowers and sleep on the flower bed but um I was using this as a spare rake but I guess you can have it if you want to enter the castle thank you excellent work Litwig I am simply here to please <laughs> she gives uh, you the giant key uh, uh, it's it, is it heavy or is it light? It's it's as heavy as like a shovel. It's comically heavy. Got it. Um, okay. Yes, it's comically heavy. She has very thin arms, but it's gotta be one of the. She other. holds it like she holds it like it's absolutely no problem, and then yeah. it's thunk. Yeah. Uh, it's just up to the. Uh, uh, a little help with the and the and 
oh, you need help with the door. Okay. She lightly picks it up with one hand and walks over to the door lightly. <laughs> Inserts it with a ka -ching! And then the door goes. <laughs> After you. Quite an evocative door. <laughs> and I roll in. <laughs> You roll in. Is it like a somersault or is it like just your unicycle? You go in so fast because of your fast travel ability. You gotta go fast. Catch up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pretty much, I'm rolling on a unicycle very, <laughs> very quickly for no reason, and I usually have to go really fast and then stop and wait. It's very much like the tortoise and a hare. Cool. You uh, walk in to a grand foyer. You see large doors. You see a giant staircase descending upwards. And then there's a big picture of the family that was once there. And then the staircase splits off into two staircases that go off to the left and the right. Um, you see scattered about, there's like a poster of a luau. And there's like some streamers that have fallen down and like some paint that have been has been thrown up against the wall, but like definitely not applied correctly as if someone was very lazily just brighten up the place. Paint didn't work. Okay. And you hear a loud booming voice coming from above. Who dares trespass on my property? Guards? Julio? Jeeves, Jeeves, go down, get them. <laughs> when Jeeves arrives, uh, like, will you be introducing us to your Lord, Jeeves? Descending the staircase, you see a frail old man go down the steps. One by one. Are you here to see the sire? It seems he's not interested in any clowns right now. I must ask you to leave. Please ask your master to let us speak with him. If we don't entertain him, he can go straight for the jugular. The juggler. Oh, and he would. I must warn against that. I just must give Dan a moment to compose themselves about the previous pun that was said by the clown. I'm so sorry. I, I, I rolled. Good. It's a funny joke. <laughs> I mean, the master is interested in the juggler jugulars, yes. The reason I'm still alive is mine is thin and frail and wouldn't be of interest to the sire. Mm -hmm, really, really. And how's this lack of interest make you feel? Well, I am cursed to serve whoever lives in the castle. And mm -hmm, at the mm -hmm. moment, it does happen to be... Mm -hmm. The vampire who thinks my name is Jeeves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I live to serve, mm -hmm. and so I will. Fascinating. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Sounds please like go you're on. Trying to empathize. <laughs> I'm trying to. Yes. 
the robot. I, I probably roll eight now. All right, I roll the four, and empathy is is spades, and so I have one, two, yes. three, four, five spades. So I succeed. So you succeed. Um, so this frail looking butler has a spade and a heart. All right. Um, and I can take up the X of someone's emotions where X is, I'm okay. So with empath empathize, I take the space, their fear. Yep, you can take so, a spade. All right. Yep, you can take a spade. Do you want it? I'll do that. Let's just find one. Aha! Found one. Boop. <laughs> so, this butler starts opening up to you. You learn about his past as an immortal butler who's bound to this castle and wants to serve whoever lives in it. So you're saying that you can help this poor sire's undead heart to feel again. He hasn't been, well, I've only known him for so long, but he's opened up to me and he doesn't seem to be happy with the way he lives his life. He came here for a change of pace and as you can see, that change of pace isn't going so well. I told him he needed furniture and other interior decorating, but he just threw a pan of can, a pan of paint, a can of paint at the wall. <laughs> and look at where we are now. This place is desolate. Poor Lucy can't tend to her garden to liven up the place. Very well. I will let you pass, but you beware if he goes for the jugular. <laughs> well, if you wouldn't mind, I w if you can introduce us. Ah, you would like me to accompany you. No problem. Walk this way. How does he walk? He walks um, with teeny tiny little steps in a shuffling motion. I hop I off my unicycle, copy. pick it up, and yep, yes. Yep, yep. We've all we all know that one. <laughs> yes, and if when we when you introduce me, make sure to say I'm Marvedra, son of Steve the Clown, son of Augustus the Clown, son of Bobo Nidus, Caesar the Clown. Me or whoever may be my voice may have for some reason absolutely zoned out and wasn't paying attention. So I will do what I want. <laughs> it's fine. It's on my business card. And I lift up my wig and my jester hat and take out a business card that has it in its entirety. Well, the three cards I take out there stapled together have in its entirety. And I hand that to Jeeves, who's not Jeeves. Yes, my true name is Julian. Van Excellent. Jeeves. Julian Van Jeeves. Julian Van Jeeves. But my friends call me Jules. One might say when I serve a family in this castle, I'm the family jewels. <laughs> that is a very good one. Excellent. Have you considered being a clown? Well, until this castle is destroyed, I'm afraid I'm bound to it and live to serve. So, I just, just, just asking, just qu question. What does the word destroy mean to you? And what does the word bound mean to you? Well, I only have the contract written on this business card. I've never really thought to interpret the words beyond what I was given. 
You sure you can't get escape if we give you one of Dracula's stockings? I recall that working on someone else. I can't remember. You're saying if the master gives Julian a sock, Julian might be free? Exactly. I think I saw that somewhere. I believe it was a meme. We can always give it a shot. Why don't I? If not, you'll have a stocking. I will. That would be good for the Christian holiday that happens at the end of the year. It's about that time to start shopping for that holiday. Well, if you lift the endless night, I'm sure time will go by at the regular rate. Continue to walk this way. And now he starts taking big lunging steps forward in like a really dipping down, getting getting some good quad action. Picks up a chandelier that weighs like 30 pounds each on each side and really exercising down the hall. And you're going down endless hall after endless hall with many, many, many doors. Do you even lift Jeeves? I mean, Jules. I meant Jules. Thank you for using my proper name. Here, catch. And he throws it, throws you a 30 pound chandelier or chandelier, candelabra. What's, what's, what's the up what's with candles what yeah Candela. what's his name for beauty candelabra. And the beast? Candelabra. candelabra candelabra he's got candelabras so, so it nearly kills me and my legs start to curl up <laughs> into me and so and uh leg wigs have to grab them because if your legs curl completely up in you, you don't will, get them back you don't get them back right. <laughs> you gotta be strong you gotta, you gotta <laughs> decurl them you gotta I'm, decurl I'm, them i want to live you just throw, if you if you throw it high enough, you can uncurl them, and then I'll grab it on uh, on three. Ready? Uh, oh, one, two, two three. three. Oh. <laughs> oh God! Why is I it? saw my life flash in front of my eyes. There were clouds. Can we swear on this stream? <laughs> <laughs> just. I need to know if we can swear on this stream before I. That has my literally next not stopped me before. <laughs> Someone's okay, people cool. have swear in the past. Okay. <laughs> Who's lifting now, motherfucker? <laughs> Do you even lift, bro? Uh. Continue to walk this way. Now I'm walking even older than Joel's <laughs> the near death experience. <laughs> Just uh, hold it, hold this kid a lot, bro. I'm taking the funny steps. And as you're walking down this endless hall, you reach a um, you see a wall kind of do um a face pushing out of it thing with the hands, like kind of pulling it like the wall is a blanket kind of thing, but it's the <laughs> it's the wall, and it sinks back in. I just try to act like I didn't see it. I'm poking it. I want to poke it. Poke. It's solid wall. Poke a second time. <laughs> it's just a wall. But you see... I... But the camera pans behind you and you see a, a face go... <laughs> unbeknownst to you. Yep. Two pokes is all it takes. Back to the funny walks. <laughs> Keep going. You hear behind you. Ooh. We uh, <laughs> are we singing? Ooh. Uh, uh, that's a little high for me. Like, can we lower the pit? Can we lower the pit? I. Can I like go down the octave? Are we walking here? Ooh. Are, 
I, I don't want to turn around. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, no, here we go. Uh, on the three, we both turn around. It's that fast. We'll just real fast. Oh, okay, wait one second. I need. I draw a picture of a cross on the note on a pad that I with the information that I usually get people how people feel. And I turn around and hold the notepad up in front of me as if it's going to protect me from whatever. So one, two, two three. three. Ooh, is that a present for me? A ghost is behind you. It's one of those bed sheety goats, ghosts <laughs> that can grab things though and grabs the note away. Ooh. Woo! I was just entertained by how you were walking. So I was like, woo! So fun. You <laughs> can keep that. Me of how I died. You Wait. want to know how I died? <laughs> it was like, there was this guy, and he was like, I have a cross. And I was like, ooh. And then he stabbed me. I was like eight at the time. Because I went down to pick it up. It was great. How are you? I felt better uh, roughly 30 seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad uh, you asked how I feel. 30 seconds ago. Those are probably one of my last lines when I died. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I was a I'm sickly so glad. child. I'm... I had, I had, I had the plague. I caught uh. the plague in my youth and I died from that. And I thought I felt better 30 seconds ago and then I died. Because I'm sorry, hold, hold on fast. one moment. Hold on one moment. I walk off screen and push a chase lounge <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> then I go off the screen again and bring like a chair and set it down. Please have a seat. <laughs> Cross my leg with my big floppy. <laughs> Did you know I can possess furniture? And the ghost goes into the furniture and starts doing the face thing. <laughs> on like the cushions and like lifting the pillows up and down. Uh, I would Ooh. like to make a balloon chair just to see if the kid can also possess the balloon chair. So I'm like, hold on. Can you possess this one? Ooh, more furniture for me to play with? Yay! And she jumps in and starts floating the balloons around. <gasps> I can possess furniture because of how I died. One time I was walking down the street and these guys were lifting like a big chair into the sky, into the apartment and it fell and it squished me. And that's how I died. What? Oh, but I thought the, 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 the plague. That's very terrible. I don't, I don't... Uh, I dared to ask, how many times have you died? Only once. Okay. Okay. That answers all my questions. Do you enjoy being a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Poltergeist? I'm just, I'm just a little girl. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. And I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna start pulling out balloons. Just, just long snakes. Just, what am I, I'm just like, I'm like, what am I making? What am I making? More balloons. <laughs> what are, like, just like long, it's like a long chain that just keeps getting longer. Or you're like, oh, uh, I need to make, what do you make for a kid? Oh, that reminds it... me of how I died. There was a plastic bag floating across the street, and I was like, ooh, that would make a good helmet. So then I put it on and I couldn't breathe, and then I died. I... Mind blown. <laughs> I... I... There's just like a long snake of like just connected balloons of different color just chaining down the hall. Cause it's like cannot stop. Like, what? How am I supposed? What do you make for a kid who doesn't like understand that they're dead? Like, I get up out of the chair I'm sitting in, and I hand my notepad, take it from the ghost, hand it to Jules, and then sit down in the chase lounge. <laughs> I was doing good this morning, <laughs> but 
you know, something happened, and I, I don't think it's okay. I'm okay anymore. It's really devastating. It's very upsetting. I believe in you. You can do whatever you want. I'm, I'm just, you know what? Um, I'm, do you like balloons, small child? I love balloons. Take this balloon, and it's like the long chain of balloons. And it's like, uh, I would just like to, how, how do I get the, the joy of, and, and the, maybe some of your sadness away? Cause like, what the hell? <laughs> sadness? You have, you have some weird, your humors are out of balance and I'd like to fix that. <laughs> I don't know how to fix it, but I'm, I'm going to try. Yes. We need leeches to f fix your humors. <laughs> well... Okay. Do you want to roll something for it? <laughs> yeah, I just don't know what to roll. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how to fix this child. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not emotionally equipped to help. I'm just like, you clearly have enough joy. So like, it feels like that you could both take psychic damage if you wanted to just draw a card. <laughs> I, I think I'm, it I feels just... like I've emotionally affected you. Whoopsie! <laughs> whoopsie! Just whoopsie. It's fine, I guess. Then well, we you just, know, I always wanted to be a clown when I grew up. Too bad I never did. So oh, I've dr I've tragedy. drawn I've drawn the card. I don't know what it means. This 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 five here? Yeah. That means for some reason you're getting happier. Okay, um, you seem to be, like, pretty well adjusted for a kid, and you seem to like balloons, and that's always, that's great. I there are some kids who don't actually like balloons, they don't like the squeaky sound when you twist them, and I, like, how am I supposed to make you a puppy if I don't twist the balloons? Like, all I can make is a snake, or a handleless sword, um, not really, but like- Oh, a sword! That's how I died. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm just. Uh, you said this was like a, like a ghost, like a blanket ghost. A blanket ghost. I'm just gonna. Can I just the sheet? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna spin a club, and can I just yeet the sheet? We have to roll to express. Yeah, I'll I'll roll to express. Um, okay. That is a. I have a five. I have rolled a three. I would like yeet. to eat the sheet, please. Cool. I will take this club from you. <laughs> and um, so, what 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 do you want to happen? Why don't you narrate it since you just spent, rolled to have it happen? <laughs> uh, I I feel like it's like that that like very obvious sneak up behind to like eat the sheet as it will like uncover the mystery of this kid who keeps dying <laughs> like, like the a thousand child. and one ways to die <laughs> dumb ways to die plays in the background like i just 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 like just like removing like it off off of like a like a furniture object you're just like reveal the truth but in a comedic way hopefully <laughs> yep um dumb ways to die plays but with xylophone music so that it's like <laughs> rug <-ratsy. laughs> And you pull it away and you see like, you know, those creepy porcelain dolls that, but in human form, the absolute most innocent, sweet summer child that you've ever seen. Oh, it was dark and now it's a lot back. brighter. Thank I you. The back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's dark again. I guess I'll go take a nap. Nice the last time I napped, that was how I died. Okay. It was I got nice it. meeting you. You walk ahead, and then I'll, I'll pull the sheet, turn around, like turn it around, turn them around, and then we'll go in the opposite directions. Oh, okay. Okay, so, so follow Jules, and then I'll, and, and then yes, I'm it'll be still great. Yes, i here, just kind of watching 
you could she's she just likes talking about how she died <laughs> yeah I have nothing I have nothing I'm gonna and then and, and then, are you saying we're gonna play hide and seek yes and I'm gonna be it first I'm gonna count to 100 one okay one time two, you as she walks away three. you just hear like slowly fading away well last time i played hide and seek i went and i hid but no one ever found me and that's how i died and she fades away into the floor and she's gone <laughs> I just like, uh, I pull out a balloon and I just start making like a giant red nose for myself and I put it on. I'm like, yeah, that was surprisingly fun. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little concerned about that, but that's something for later. I'm gonna There's need therapy. To worry about. I'm always here. No. <laughs> Have no. fun in the castle. Ooh. Okay, walk this way. I'm sure that won't come up again. <laughs> well, it will for me. She's also bound to the castle. But, you know, you don't have to be bound if you make it out. Anyways, it's just up this winding staircase. Uh, he opens uh, one of the doors of all of these endless hallways, and it looks like who could know what each of these doors does, but Jules does. So he opens one, and you see a room that really looks like it's bigger on the inside, because how did this giant winding staircase just go going up up into the sky and you have to climb these and i go over and start winding it doors yeah i start winding it you're going to need these and he gives you um he's got two medallions that are giant weights this represents courage and this represents strength you'll need both of them to reach the vampire are we getting the reference here I hope some audience members know what I'm doing. Let's get down to business. Oh! To reach the vampire. <laughs> it's not Did me. Did you send me clowns? No, I got. I didn't realize asked, they had names. I had spent how long since I haven't <laughs> seen it. I didn't remember what they represented. That's how that long it's been clowns, since I've seen it. That ghost is the saddest thing you've ever met. But I have bet no clue. Before we're through, <laughs> Ludwig <laughs> will <laughs> make a clown out of you. Out of you? Let's go. That sounds oddly threatening. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a clown, but I could be. <laughs> Are there any other theater songs people know? Because obviously that one came from the traveling puppet theater <laughs> in these this nondescript time <laughs> that this takes place in. <laughs> You know, this is me descending the stairs. This is literally me going, mm. all of them are bad and I don't want to parry any of them off the top of my head because I might die. Is there, is there a bunch of them in here? Uh -huh, Aha, it's a vertebral jukebox of the stage acts. Is it worth repeating to the world? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, I follow Jules. 
<laughs> One sec. Um, you hear, you hear, um, you hear from beneath you, like a kind of um, here. I more of like a clattering. Here, okay, buddy. More of a rattling. And a ah, ah, ah. Ah! Hello? 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 Is that, are, are people up there? Are people down there? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> no body is down here. You know what I mean. <laughs> I will <laughs> kill nobody if this continues. Okay, you hear a... Ah, 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 ah. And from beneath you, a skeleton emerges. See? Ah, no, no body. See, I I was thinking of of the original fools, uh, the classic ones, where there is in fact a clown named Nobody, which did in fact fool many. Well, wasn't well. Fun fact, I was that clown, except that was 400 years ago. <laughs> ha. Ha. What is that rattling noise? It's following me everywhere. I, I hate Bestie. I, I hate to tell you, but I think that's you. No bones about it. No if ends or bones. Ha! It's Ha! Ah, it's me! Ha! Ah! Yeah. It's quite certainly you. Ha! Ah, I don't like it. How do I get rid of it? Um Ha! Ah. Hmm. Why don't we just, uh, why don't we just give me it, give it to me, give you my bones? Metaphorically. A metaphorical bone? Yes, uh, how about, how, how about instead I will take this bone and I will give it to you. Well, it's actually not a bone, but it, it it's a it's a bone. I'll give it to you. Ah. In exchange for your bone. bone. Yes, that one. Well, are you saying we should have a laugh off? I mean, I I think it's at a disadvantage for you due to your lack of lungs, but we could certainly have one. Ha 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 I can laugh! Obviously! <laughs> okay! Did you hear the one about the scarecrow who won a medal? He was found out standing in his field! <laughs> Very nice. Uh... There's so many. Where to begin? Where to begin? Oh, I, I have one. Let's hear it. You know? Do you know why clowns can't afford balloons? It's because of inflation. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm tickled pink, but then again, I have no skin that can get pink. If you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I will say, um, <clears throat> have you ever tried to eat a clock? Time is weird, you know. It's time consuming. <laughs> I am tickled pink once again. But I only have the same joke to bring back. I feel, I feel beaten. 
Well, and don't be an egg. You'll just crack yourself up. <laughs> and he falls down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason to get rattled. They were very good jokes. <laughs> from the bottom of the stairs, he's like, You are one, but I have but one more. Did you hear about the lion who admitted he was a cannibal? He's swallowing his pride. <laughs> I feel better about my bones now. Thank you for your metaphorical one. I hope to have metaphorical bones with you in the future. Um, and uh, we'll pull out like a bone colored balloon and like twist yes, the ends. Yes, pull out be, your like, bones. Little femur. Be like, I actually have one more bone to pick. <laughs> and hand it to him. <laughs> you toss it down the stairs because that's where he is. Oh, oh, but sorry. And it like falls heavy, like a bone instead of a balloon. <laughs> um, a plume of dust erupts from underneath, implying there was an impact. <laughs> Enjoy it. It's the last bone I have to pick. <laughs> okay, let's continue. But first, hail hydrate, because this is not a good voice for the throat. <laughs> Let us continue. It's a fruit fly in here. Shoe fly, okay. don't bother Shoe me. Shoe fly. It's totally... Yep. Nope. Okay. We'll deal with that. It's fine. Um, so as you're, you finally ascend the stairs and as you get there, you hear louder and louder organ music, probably something along the lines of, da, 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 da. but I don't know what copyright it is. So we're going to do that super fast and say, it's fine. Don't <laughs> demonetize or don't whatever for Utopia. I don't know the rules. And yeah, I think you're good. <laughs> Singing usually gets you you're pretty you're pretty free if you get like eight bars of vocal only singing because they have to find it first. Haha! <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, so you finally get to another like all of the doors have been pretty big. Whoever lived here just really liked grandio grandiose. Yes, that's the word. Stairs and doors. This one is the tallest one. And it's like really thin and really tall so that it looks ridiculous, but also maybe creepy. And there's a little hole on the top and you see a bunch of bats fly out. Don't you love how many uh, vampires have shown up in this vampire stream? Thank you for watching everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, you're at a big door. The sire is this way. Through the door? Yes, would you like to knock or ring the bell? I feel like all of these bells are ruining the fun of knocking. I know. You knock, knock, you knock. Pretend to knock and I'll push the doorbell. <laughs> okay, let's do it. So I, you press I the push button. As, yes. Ding dong. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Foiled again. I feel like they missed the understanding of what a knock knock joke is. It does require a knock first. Why is, the, why is there a doorbell inside of the castle? Ambiance. <laughs> Sire, introducing the clown, and he pulls out his spectacles. 
and pulls out your card and then the spectacles fall off and then he tries to put them back on <laughs> and he puts the note in his pocket and then he's got the spectacles on and then he reaches down to get the note and then he pulls it back up and the spectacles fall off and he goes um presenting the clowns sire here comes the clowns do 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 here come the clowns and I say it's all right. Well, I didn't I didn't say it was all right. What do you think you're doing bringing people in here? And um, a chair with a really tall back swivels and you see just the angry face of a vampire. Whoa, look, one's in the stream now. One exists, the fruit buds. <laughs> exist too ah and um you know the typical like pale skin slicked back hair cloak that can do this <laughs> like what are they doing in my house i've been trying to decorate or interior decorate as you've been saying and it's not working i can't do anything right I don't need clowns to be here. Everyone get out. Uh, I think I take a step forward and then I tumble and then I tumble and then I tumble and uh... You want to roll and entertain? <laughs> yes, I will roll and entertain. I don't know how many uh, rolls have happened in this game so far, but it's not very many. <laughs> do, do, I only have, I have to roll under a three. So three and less, yes. Uh, I, however, have rolled a one. Thank oh, you for me sweet. being so bad at rolling dice <laughs> that it actually helps in this game. Okay, so you get to draw three cards and give away three or give away two or cancel out some of these other cards, but I don't, I, I, you don't get to know what they are. Get cancel, okay. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, let's let's cancel out some cards. So I'm gonna give. What would I, do I cancel with the same? Like, here's a diamond. Cancel out diamond. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna gi give the diamond. No more okay. sadness. Um, and I'm going to take this, this, uh, the spade. No more fear. Or yes, no more fear these two okay, bad boys cool. surprise he doesn't have any fear i was well i wasn't gonna take the joy it's too no you give him joy oh i, I would like give to joy. give him i would like to give joy okay that is what happens i really wish i Look, had I the, the anger right here i wish i had the anger because i was like sir sir just king it but i don't have what? that what what i come here Everything's going wrong in my life, and I just come here and I'm trying to set up a nice summer villa. So I black out the sun, because who needs the sun in the summer? And everyone's in a big hissy fit, and it's like I'm doing the wrong thing again. What? You come in here and you tumble? Admittedly, pretty funny. I don't know. What do you want? What? A dial? You want me to turn a dial? I'm not here for that. Have you tried turning back on the sun? No, because then I wouldn't be able to roam around the outside of my summer villa like half of the time I'm here. Why would you? I want to be like... outside all the time I want. As why soon as I set up this place. Just, just why wouldn't you summer in like a place that was like night all day? Why would you summer in a place that you couldn't enjoy? I can enjoy this place because I descended endless night on it and I'm doing a great job. But everything is dead. Where is the flowers? Not yet. It'll be fine when like a month after I vacation here for like a month, their crops will die, but they'll like grow back or whatever. I don't need them. They don't need me. I don't need them. I'm just going to enjoy my time here. I have a very nice timeshare in Iceland that I think you would really like. <laughs> You want to try and roll empathize? John, do you I want do. to do anything? <laughs> I'll bring up first. I, I didn't want to... 
Right now, I, I don't know. I don't have anything I want to do right immediately. I'm kind of... I'm just trying to get him to understand that he shouldn't live here. I'm, wa I'm just watching. Okay, so I have to roll a six or under. Yeah. Please, sir. That's a four. Uh, nice. I'm just, I'm trying to get him to understand that it doesn't make sense to summer in a place where there's sun if you're a vampire. It just doesn't make yeah. sense. So that was an empathize roll, right? Yeah. Okay. So these are the cards and you get to take up to half of them. Round it up, which for you is three. So that's going to go great for you. Um, there are three clubs, a diamond, and a heart. Oh, okay. Hold on. We might be. We might be hitting some. I can't have more than eight. Um. Oh man. Six, yeah. Seven. Actually, I'll take all of those clubs, baby. Oh snap! That so, puts me at seven. <laughs> so you take. I don't. Know, okay, we have to search in roll twenty for three clubs if they even exist. One sec. Up oh, there's one. One. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh. Yep. It's fine. Somehow there are two clubs. Okay. We're That's... playing the game right. Oh no, it's two decks. That's fine. <laughs> I was like, what's strange? That's weird. That's suspicious. There There's one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was like, why are there two so aces? And I was like, it's two decks. That's why. Okay. So you you set you you propose your Iceland villa, and he's like. And you see his, you see steam, his steam kind of just like, yeah, okay. Someone else's summer villa. So I could like go there and I can like trash the place and then it would be like your problem. And that makes you mad. And that's why you get so mad with your mad cards. I, yeah, I can just trash the place. And if it's Iceland, yeah, I can go during, well, the winter, but it'll be, it won't be hot though. And I guess I have a heat spell. And pulls out like a balloon, makes it into a plank of wood, breaks the wood, throws it down. <laughs> I try to take the balloon's stake from you. I was like, okay, well, hmm. Give me the keys. Give me the keys. I want to see them. It's a timeshare. So you don't need keys. Like, you just sign up, and then the keys are like on a little hook. And then you put the keys on the hook when you leave you share the time so there's other people who also use the villa so that way you're not paying for like a villa when you're not living there what time do you have it for well i have like a first tier villa slot so every quarter we do like pick up for signings and i have a first tier slot and currently going into the next quarter which i think would be fall i have like the second choice of like all of the weekends in fall and all of the weeks so basically the first person picks and then i get to pick um and so usually i get whatever i want like i was gonna spend like a nice thanksgiving perhaps maybe a, like a like an oct uh, you know what i absolutely hate october there are so many kids who give us a bad rep dressing up like some of the scary clowns not cool so i try to like get away from kids in october so like i was gonna like spend yeah, the but week if you go like, during off season you get an extra week it's true yeah uh and uh ironically the off season is summer so because it's because people don't want to be there when it's all dark so there's a lot fewer vampire hunters on off season as well okay <laughs> we need one more roll it's very informative i'm sure everyone wants a timeshare now <laughs> Here at Dracula, we're also promoting timeshares. I think y'all go and get one. So um, we all have uh, exclusive codes for timeshares in right, Iceland right. and Greenland. Uh, let us know if you're really interested in them. You know, of, of course, in the off season, you get double time. So right. and, and when you when you go to purchase it, make sure to mention Mar Marvedra, the clown, <laughs> son of Steve, the clown, son of Augustus, the clown. Son of Bob, Bobinitis, Caesar the Clown. Because yes. I get 10%. And if you write, my... that's that's also the code. So I hope you remembered it because I definitely right. did yeah. this time. With and a then hashtag of course, when in they, front of it. 
And when they ask you where you heard it from, you obviously have to say from us. So make sure you put that code again, of course, in the bottom section yeah. as well. That's cause... but Dracula with two T's, though. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Two T's, Hashtag. three dots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three uh, dots. But you have to spell dot. It's dot, dot, dot. Yeah. D -O -T -T -O -T -T -O. Like, like, a, like, like the clown, but not us. Yeah. Don't, don't just put dots. Is there anything else we want to promote before we keep else. going? <laughs> <laughs> At Squarespace, you can make a website or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why go for the jugular when you can get a blue apron box now? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, now all I think is just of Adderall's running in my head where it's like, do you miss the cereal of childhood? Magic Spoon has all the taste and none of the shit. It's just like every podcast ad ever. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bad when word of God has to come down to be like, it's a good joke. It's a great joke even. But I'm gonna need you to stop. <laughs> My bad. So did we... Did we make the roll? Did we roll? No, we didn't roll a thing yet. Okay, so no. I'm gonna say you can um, feel or empathize again. And you know what? Mar Augustus Caesar Clown <laughs> Boy, I'll, I'll, I'll do a I'll do a feel. <laughs> Oh, I rolled a two, so... Ah. Y'all haven't failed yet, so that's fun. <laughs> yeah, that's fun for us. I think we got definitely. really lucky with, like, the cards we drew. Yeah, mm -hmm. we got a nice Okay, spread. so you rolled a feel, which means you can give X, um, half of your sadness stat, which is... Ah five rounded up is three. You can give away up to three of your cards to this vampire. Okay. Uh, definitely don't want to give him anger. From one of your emotions. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do something foolish and give like up to, you said up, up to three, so I'm going to give two joy Okay. Because the joy of discovering a timeshare is something that's precious. Yeah, so you up his joy to three, so he's currently extremely happy. He's like, oh, this sounds great. You'll be doing all the interior decorating and all these other timeshare suckers, and I won't have to, and I don't have to clean up this, like, this decrepit, gross castle. I'm out of here. I don't need this. Yeah, can we go now? Let's go. Yeah, you know how you can get there faster? Unicycle. <laughs> and okay, so we all uh, pile on top of um, the unicycle, like in a in a Scooby Doo yep. pile when they're going through <laughs> doors, or like kids in a trench coat. We all stack mm -hmm. like that. And, and you, Dracula's at the top with his cloak, so it is actually yeah. like a trench coat billowing and it's oh yeah and then it's a long trench coat so you all look like a really tall vampire on a unicycle and With you short legs um you do that thing in the cartoons where your legs go -da 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 except it's a unicycle and you immediately um dust cloud down the stairs across the endless halls you see a ghost um 
talking to a skeleton about um, that time she died by accidentally like eating something poisonous, like in the forest, it was a mushroom. Doesn't matter, you pass that. Um, you go out the garden and you see like the garden go bye. And you uh, you see the drawbridge like starting to go up because like, oh, the, I, I, the, I I best be closing it. I definitely have this voice again. And you rock it up into the air and um, you're you you're in the air and the vampire turns into a bat and you go foo, foo, foo. And you ride off into the moonlight. And from behind you, the camera pans and you see the sun starting to come up again because the night has been lifted because he's going to a timeshare in Iceland. <laughs> Yay! And um, we cut to this timeshare in Iceland. It's very clowned, chilling. very nice. clown themed, but mm -hmm. very nice. Yep, we got like that luau music for chilling. He's got um, he's in a fake beach, um, inside the villa with sunglasses on and a coconut with a straw in it. We're taking selfies, but he doesn't show up. Yep, right. Like, ah, oh, yeah, with our new best friend. And it's just like that gap. <laughs> so it's like, ah, oh, us. And then there's an empty gap, but a floating yep. coconut. And right. Polaroids, um, as Polaroids start dropping down the credits roll, um, we see various outtakes, um, one of which um, is like the girl going, I remember one time I died. Wait, sorry, I don't remember my line. Line, what? <laughs> How did I die this time? <laughs> what? <laughs> Like a sword? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry, again. now I'm just the, the outtake of like, um, and then like you're gonna tumble down like the like the co like comet and then you're gonna like tumble down the stairs. And so we're gonna add that sound in post, but I wanna hear like the grunts as you like like as you get down there, but you are bone, so like not too fleshy. Like, you know, like I want, I want a very bone sound, but like don't hurt yourself like, you know, like you're but, like I want those sounds, but I don't want them to be like flesh. Does that Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna take it like pads down at the bottom. Are we all ready? Okay, stunts are gonna go. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the scenes, I fall down off the unicycle and then I like throw a temper tantrum. I'm like, God damn it! Who said? Who even thought of a unicycle? And it's like beep beep beep, and I like throw the <laughs> unicycle and storm off the set. <laughs> So that's pretty much the end of Butt Dracula. <laughs> so I guess we'll do like who we are one more time and then we'll be out. I'm sorry so, we did this to you, Kate. <laughs> I have yeah, absolutely no apologies. Exactly what I wanted. That's what this game is. Maybe I'll do that first. This game that we played was called Butt Dracula. You can find it on Itch.io at... Uh, <laughs> macaroni x i'm gonna i'm just gonna do this one sec <laughs> you, what is my link again um what's my link it's macaroni x dot itch dot io slash butt dash dracula <laughs> only one t pick up this yeah, game only one, only one t where you can pick up this game it's obviously a lot of fun and part of the BIPOC vamp jam and there's definitely a lot of vampires in it uh, it's fine <laughs> I've been Katie Chin you can find me on Twitter at Katie Peak with Peak spelled like Mountain Peak I know how to spell things still um yeah that's about all I want to talk about about myself for now why don't you plug yourselves and we'll start with John Hi, I'm John. You can find me on Twitter, Sleepy S L E Y P Y. You can also find me on the T R F podcast. And soon I'll be having a project for Fallout RPG, which I'm looking forward to. Also, you can find me often on Vibrant Legends. Cool, cool. And, and uh, Dan. I've been Dan this entire time. Uh, I. Uh, cryptid of an indeterminate age. I'm on the internet. I make content primarily around live action roleplay, but also about creative storytelling in all mediums. 
Uh, I am a co-founder and co-host of Make Believe Live, uh, which is a whole thing that we do, which is all about introducing new people to LARPing, especially bridging the gap between TTRPGs and LARPers. Uh, you can find me on the internet in all of the places, literally all of the places, at Darker Larper. Sounds good. I think I'll bring up the charity one more time. It looks like we have reached our goal, but there is a poll on Twitter or some, I'm going to say Twitter, but if it's not, it's, it's on, on the internet somewhere for it's our new goal, which we will be getting into tomorrow. And once again, we are sponsoring September. Oh, we are September. This is a, September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, and we're raising money for the Sickle Cell Disease Association of America. The SCDAA is the nation's headquarters for sickle cell disease support, advocacy, and the search for a cure. Sickle cell disease, or SCD, is a group of inherited red blood cell disorders common among those whose ancestors came from sub-Saharan Africa, Spanish-speaking regions such as South America, the Caribbean, and Central America, Saudi Arabia, India and the Mediterranean. Those with SCD experience chronic pain and other serious problems such as infection, acute chest syndrome, and stroke. You can help by donating to our fundraiser. Use exclamation point charity in chat to get the Chelsify link. That's all we have for you tonight. <laughs> I don't know how to leave. So it's just like, bye. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna, um, on that note, we still have a few more games um, for mm -hmm. tomorrow, I believe. Uh, there's mm -hmm. going to be a collaboration with Utopia and I see Amazons, uh, so do check it out. I believe it's going to be streamed in the Dicey Amazons um, Twitch channel. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, I hope everyone stays tuned. And this has been BIPOC day by uh streams <laughs> by utopia and on that note we're gonna go now everyone okay all right <laughs> bye y'all thank you thanks bye. for listening everybody bye. Bye.